Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Saiki and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Lola, the ragdoll cat, my little furry assistant, is over there on the floor giving me the cold furry shoulder. I don't know if she will be up here. She is kind of over the filming for the day. <laughs> so this is actually also going to be the last video I have filmed today because my back is also kind of over it. Uh, you know, I, I work in an office job, so I sit a lot, and sitting usually doesn't give me any trouble. It is one of the reasons why I can diamond paint for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And it does nothing to me, but as soon as I stand for an hour, all... everything is off. Everything hurts. So, yeah. And I actually stand up during work as well. But uh, not not for as long as I sit, I will be frank with you, because the moment my back starts to hurt, I don't want it. <laughs> so, uh, weird rant at the beginning of the video. Anyway, this is the second painting I ordered uh, during my little retail therapy order when I visited my parents in May. Um, after we came back from that visit with my grandma, that was so devastating. Um... I hadn't seen her in person for about 18 months at that point and I was super shocked how <sighs> she just you know old people and she's she is turning um don't let me say the wrong thing I think 93 this year and this is an age where I am very aware that she is not going to improve in any capacity anymore, may it be physical or mentally. Um, but it is still shocking to see how much 18 months will change a person at that age. So she was so frail compared to Christmas 2019, which was why I was so shocked and devastated and kind of the first time I had a real problem with the whole pandemic thing going on because that was the only reason I hadn't seen her so long. And this has always been my only problem with the whole we have to stay at home thing, to be honest. But anyway, I needed a little pick-me-up and I ordered a couple of paintings. The first one was I Am Light. And the second one is Kitty Cuddles by Christine Caron. It is a 60, uh, 46 by 76. I just count numbers. Um, sending me the painting Round Drills with AB Diamonds. Of course I had to get it. I mean, it's a cat. It's a cat. And let's be honest, um, the lady is absolutely gorgeous. And there is still not enough um, people of color artwork in diamond painting, so absolutely needed to happen. And it did. <laughs> I was so proud of myself because I had to place this order from my phone. I'm an old person. I don't shop using my phone a whole lot. The only exception is pretty much a was because I don't really shop there anymore. AliExpress. Um, so I was kind of proud of myself. So the kit, as always, comes with this little sticker you can put on your album or on the uh, back of your box if you stack your boxes to find your painting better. It's a very useful thing. You have your toolkit. And this looks more or less like this. It is a round painting, so you won't have tweezers. But we have the pen, the boat, the bags, the wax. The squishy and the multiplacer. Everything you need and more to start this hobby out. And um, if you are like me, three years in, you need nothing of this any longer, but you still get it. So, ah, these bags always rip, which is so annoying. We have our drills, we have our canvas. So you get your little um, instruction booklet. There is a little something in there you might want to use with your next order. Then you get um, this bigger sticker 
where you can put the start and end date if you want to. Again, you can put it in your albums or whatever. And you get, of course, the key in pre-cut sticky label form. This painting has 53 colors and one AB color. The AB is white. So, Diamond Art Club canvases will lie flat if you put the painting on a flat surface and leave it alone for like 30 minutes, it will flatten itself out. But for the purpose of the video, I will roll it back to pretty much speed up the natural process here. And this is what the painting looks like. It looks super weird, as is often the case with round paintings, because the round paintings charted look very strange, <laughs> very strange. Um, they use symbols that are not exactly like the background color. You might have seen square canvases from Diamond Art Club. And with the squares, it's actually pretty much like the background here, where the symbol has the color of the drill. And you can see pretty well what the image looks like. But to make it easier to see, they actually use red symbols, blue symbols, green symbols, and that makes the canvas so weird in places. I mean, her face and the kitty's face. It's kind of scary this way, <laughs> but it will look amazing once it's done. And I actually like that the canvases look like that because um, it gives you, when you work on it, this effect of the painting pretty much blooming in front of your eyes and springing to life because this honestly looks like poop. But once the drills are on it, it is this magic caterpillar to butterfly effect. So one of the reasons I like round so much. Anyway, there is a ton of white AB down here in her sweater. So this is, um, I think, where most of it will go. And then there are probably some smaller highlights everywhere else, but the majority it looks like you missed the face. <laughs> so this is Lola, my ragdoll cat, in case you're new here. Um, the majority of the AB will go down here and then there's some sprinkled throughout. This is going to be such a beautiful painting. I'm looking forward to what else this artist is going to license to Diamond Art Club because this first one is gold. And I've looked at her Instagram and she has some very cute artwork. So let's have a look at the drills. Yeah, I see a lot of white in there. <laughs> Maybe.
So yeah, this is a good one. I really enjoy this this image already, so I'm pretty sure working on it will be such a blast. It has a lot of light colors, and I'm usually preferring those, as you might know. But I'm also I'm also very excited that they are branching out a little bit. So um, as you might know, I'm not one of these landscape girls. I just don't don't find them very appealing. That's not me trying to say that if you do, you're weird, but it's just something I do not like very much. I very much like paintings with critters and people in the in the focus. So this is absolutely up my alley. I also like that this is not overly comic-y because I usually um, gravitate towards the many manzanas of this world and the the willow art and, and stuff like that. But this is more on a painty realistic level so it's clearly painted but it's not trying to be super comic-y and I think we have a broken bag because I have multiple drills of the same color on the canvas so I have to check the bags again um, but yeah I think this is a great addition and I'm looking forward to what else they are going to come out with here all right um, that's all I have for you today I think I am a bit hurrying, hurrying now, but uh, I need to sit down. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found this a little bit helpful and I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful week. I try my best to be back with another video tomorrow. Bye everyone.